Hello Ravens, this is Mrs. Lavoie and this is our vocab for um, Act 3 of Romeo and Juliet. Remember that you are to create a page of notes in which you include the term, the part of speech, the definition, and a simple sentence. You have to have all the elements included for full credit. Our first word this week is pun. Pun is a noun and it is a joke or humorous play on words that makes use of the words different meanings and or spellings. So my example here uses the words blue and blue. They're spelled differently but they sound exactly the same. I was blue because the wind blew away my balloon is an example of a pun. It's like saying I was sad because the wind blew away my balloon. A soliloquy this also is a noun and it is a speech given by a character who is alone on stage. So Romeo's expression of his feelings for Juliet before she comes out on the balcony is a soliloquy because no other characters are on the stage. So he's by himself and he's talking about Juliet being the sun. A monologue is a noun and it is a prolonged talk given by one speaker. So when Mercutio gives what's called the Queen Mab monologue, it is a monologue because it's a long speech, but there are other characters on stage. If he had been alone on stage, it would have been a soliloquy. Next we have slander. It is a noun and it is a malicious and false statement. So frequently we hear about slander um, with regard to newspapers. So the newspaper was sued for slander by the actress who wanted compensation for the lies printed about her. And then finally we have devise and it is a verb and it means to imagine or to formulate. So we need to devise a plan of action in the event of an intruder entering the building. That's all Ravens. Good luck on the quiz on Friday.